Wizard NR100 review. Wizards NR100 review. Thank you guys for watching my previous review about the PR76. I hope you like it. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about Wizards skates, but on this occasion we will talk about the Wizards NR100. These are a 100 millimeter setup. It's a big wheel down the PRs, only four wheels, but still it has that beautiful rocker system which provides a lot of which provides a lot of responsiveness. I've been riding this setup for the last probably four or five weeks and I've been loving it. Uh, this is a, it's a big wheel setup for the wizard frame. It's not the biggest, there is one more uh, on top of it, which is the 110 millimeter. The main difference between the PR76 and the NR100 very much is, well, the PR76 where it's a five wheels setup, while this one is a four 100 millimeter setup. And this one also provides you with a rocker system. So you can see uh, there are only two wheels having point of contact while the other two are on the air, which is great for turning, pivoting, and they give you a lot of maneuverability and for uh, skating development as well. Now let's talk about the skate per se. Let's begin with the frame. The Wizard frame and NR100 is a UFS system which allow you to remove, the, remove it from the skate and switch frames as much as you want as long as it's UFS system. The, the Wizard frames are not the cheapest one on the market. They, they are around $400 Amer American dollars, but I tell you it's worthy. It is a high quality item that if you are into skating, it will be worth to have. It's solid, it has high quality, uh, it has so much engineering design behind it. So yeah, well, it, there, there is a lot of work behind this design, which is probably why, one of the reasons why it's so expensive. Obviously the, the, the material um, and the production approach might be another reason why it's so expensive. But definitely, definitely you can afford it. It's highly recommended, it's a great product. The frames are matching from a solid piece of aluminum, uh, which again is probably why the reason for the price, but it's, it gives you a solid frame. It will assist you in improving your skating overall. It provides a lot of responsiveness the power transfer is, is just incredible, especially with this particular boot, which we will talk a little bit later on. The uniqueness of the frame is the, na the natural rocker for better maneuverability than a flat frame with all the wheels touching the ground. And what I mean with this is you can see that when the two middle wheels are touching the ground, the Two wheels, the external wheels, or the, the one in the front and one in the back, are just on, on the air, they're not touching. And that gives you a little bit of better pivot, pivoting. Uh, it's, it's great for, for maneuverability, and for turning and carving. That's, uh, that's one, probably one of, it's probably one of the strengths of the skate. The boot is the linerless Seva Carbon UFS shell with an updated fit intuition scale liner, the V2, which is, is this one, and we'll talk a little bit about it later. This is a carbon, a carbon boot which doesn't have a liner inside. You see, this is not a liner, just it's a solid, a very solid piece of material inside, which it has a lacing system all the way up. So it really, it really provides you with a lot of support for your ankle area. And it has the 40, 45 degree angle straps, which work very well for me 
I haven't had any issue with them. So they, they're pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, also, it has this kind of leather material on front of the skate, which provide extra protection to the, to the skate. And also the stopper plastic, which it protects the skate hips, especially when you fall. And again, as I said in my previous video, I, I fall a lot. Uh, so yeah, this is very much the skate per se. It, it provides you great support. It gives you the chance to have a lot of maneuverability when it comes to turns um, and all the wizard move, which I'm just learning by the way. Other than that, well, it's, it's a great skate. So let's, let's talk a little bit about the liner. The liner. Right, now let's talk about the Intuition Liner V2, which comes with the complete Wizard skate. This is a great uh, liner. It provides you a lot of support because it's a very solid and a stiff material and uh, it gives you the chance to add more stiffness in your ankle area as you have this removable cuff part which provide extra stiffness um, and support if, if you want to get this area the ankle area a little bit with extra support. Uh, for me, it works very well. Um, it's a, the lacing system is great because it comes all the way from the bottom to the top. So when you tie it all the way up, it really support your, your lower section of your leg and your foot, locking, locking the foot very well into the liner. So it provides you with better responsiveness when it comes to power transfer from the liner to the skate. Um, again, highly recommended. It's a very good, very, very, very well designed liner. Um, and it also has this neoprene area here in front. So it gives you a little bit more uh, room and flexibility when it comes to your toe area. Uh, it's really comfortable. I never had any issue really other than the, you know, the breaking part here that I told you in my previous review, the PR76, which again, it hasn't been a big deal. It's not a biggie, but oh, it was a little bit frustrating uh, at the time. Nothing crazy. Um, I keep using it and they perform very well. Again, as I said before, it has this additional shock absorption removable uh, area here that you can remove if you want you can leave it it's up to your preference for me i like to to have my heel lifted a little bit a little bit higher i give me uh for me a more natural position for my body for my feet you know, particularly when i'm i'm trying to to, to perform kind of jumps or wizard move. So yeah, definitely, definitely work for me. So that's that's very much most of, of the review. The one little other thing that I wanted to tell you uh, for your information is that it's a very simple way to change the wheels. It's a very simple one. Only you need an alley key. Um, it's just one ball. So very much what you have to do is just Unscrew it in a very simple manner, nothing crazy. And that's it. Free. Easy to chain. Nothing crazy. So that's it. That's that's my review for the wizard. Nothing crazy. You see, I just wanted to uh, give you more information about the, the skate. As I said before, it's a great skate. It's a bit expensive. It's not the cheapest on the market, but if you can afford it. I would highly recommend and uh, give it a go because you won't regret it. Um, it's, it's a great piece of engineering. It performs amazingly. Uh, it has a, such a great look, especially 
the frames, I, I think the lines is kind of minimalistic kind of design, love it. Um, me par particularly like this kind of frame more than others in the market, but this one is beautiful, uh, has beautiful lines, well, well done and well designed. And that the look is amazing, it feels great, it, it, it provides you the opportunity to improve your skating uh, a lot. So yeah, this very much is my review. I hope you like it. Uh, if you do like it, please give me a thumb up. If you don't, well, give me a thumb down, but please let me know what didn't like it, uh, what you didn't like it, so I can, I can keep improving. Uh, also, please consider to subscribe to our channel, which it will help us a lot. If you miss it, remember that we have another product review for the Wizards PR76 in, on this channel. So it might be worth it to have a look if you are interested in the five wheels wizards as well. Um, also, we have a couple of videos with the NR100 and the PR76 on our channel, which might give you an idea how they perform very much our journey through our wizard skating experience, how we are learning the move and how we are and having so much fun with the skate. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Catch you later.